So last lesson we taught you i squared equals minus one. Yeah, and you said i is imaginary. Right, but what if we told you you can also think of i as a 90 degree rotation? Nah, how? Uh, I'll show him, Sabby. Okay, dude, pick any number on this number line. Four. Okay, so four on a number line is this distance here. One, two, three, four. And what happens if we multiply four by negative one? You get minus four. Right, which is over here on the other side of the number line. So multiplying by minus one made it flip. Even better to view it as a 180 degree rotation. And watch, multiply minus four by minus one, and it rotates back to four. Ooh. That's cool, but what's this got to do with i? Well, what's four times i? Four i? Four i, which you can imagine is up here uh, on an imaginary number line. Wait, what? So this number line's real, but this one's imaginary. Yep. And here's why this diagram slaps. So we multiplied four by i, and it's like it rotated 90 degrees to four i. But if we multiply by i one more time, it rotates another 90. So that takes us to minus four. Which makes sense, right? Because we did four times i, times i again, and i squared equals minus one. Yo, so if we just kept timesing the answer by i, would it just keep doing 90 degree turns? Forever and ever.